Daily Salah, or prayer, forms one of the five pillars in the Islamic faith. We pray five times a day at various points during the day, you know, early morning, midday, afternoon, evening, and then night. I think it really gives you a chance to disconnect from whatever else is going on in life and just ground yourself. On September 11, 2001, Omar Hasnin would come to understand its importance. I was in the first grade, the first week of first grade. So that's probably six, six or seven. Shiraz Rashid was a seventh grader in Salem. I distinctly remember being in a science class. Uh, in my science class, I remember our principal coming on the loudspeaker, uh, explaining the events that had just transpired. Among the few Muslims in their school, both immediately felt increased attention. As a kid, it just, it's confusion. You don't really know why, because to your mind, you're just a kid like everybody else in school. If you ask me on September 10th or even before that, I was just, you know, Shiraz Rashid, that, that kid, that quiet kid that did his homework. After September 11th, I became Shiraz Rashid, the Muslim. During the 24-7 news cycle, the terrorists and their ties to Islam were dissected across the airwaves. Shiraz and Omar encountered people who channeled their fears, anger, and confusion at anyone who even slightly resembled the attackers. Over time, both men say they learned to use those encounters as an opportunity to teach the true meaning of being a Muslim. There is a, a verse in the Quran where we believe God says, God says in the Quran, he's written it, that to kill a life is to kill all of humanity. But to save a life, it is like you have saved all of humanity. So understanding that and internalizing that verse and then seeing the acts of that day, that's an anti-pattern. It's not how it works. In the near future, the Islamic Society of Manchester will open up the largest mosque in the state. The intention is for the building to not only be a beacon of light for Muslims, but for the entire community. Ultimately, we're all just people. And I think if you spend some time to really sit down and just have a conversation, that can go a long way to having people understand that this is just a guy, he just wants the same things from life as I do. People are now seeing us, you know, as, as, as neighbors, as, as community members, as people who are giving back to their society. Um, so I think it's gotten a lot better since that time. Nevertheless, there's always work to do, right? Um, there's always the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I like to think the good has prevailed since that time.